Okay, so I know what you're all thinking. Where did I get those things? And if there are no further questions, then I would like to tell you a little bit about those plushies right over there. So they have been in the background for, I think, one video so far, but they are going to be back there to show just how much money I spent on those damn plushies. 65 bucks, boys. I also got some more mystery minis. I got Banny. Wow, look at her. Since this is a review on the plushies, I'm not going to be talking about these things a whole lot. I got Blacklight, Chica, Glamrock, Chica, Blacklight, Glamrock, whatever. There's a lot of adjectives now. She looks nice. Sparkly, uh, I believe Glow in the Dark too. Montgomery Gator, look at him go. And then normal Glamrock Freddy, look at him. Wow, he's so super cool. <laughs> so now the plushies. That's right, I got all of them at GameStop a couple days ago. They were all together, um, and that's all they had, too, was just the five, and then they had one more Glamrock Freddy. I was so lucky. So because I'm so late to covering these things, uh, I really don't want to stay on them for too long because, again, everyone's already talked about these things. Fucking look at them. Now, I'll be honest, I don't own many FNAF plushies. I have Nightmare Foxy right here. I have Freddy, and then I have, uh, uh, Chica, I don't know. So I really do not have a whole lot of reference to go off of when talking about these plushies, but I will say, even if I can't tell you guys, oh, the material's different, or wow, look at the stitching instead of the sewing in, I don't know that stuff. Instead, I'm gonna I'm gonna talk about their appearance and how faith faithful they are to their actual character. So kicking it off again, we got Glamrock Freddy right here. Now, he is very different from what he's gonna look like in the game. So like usual, I'm looking at my security breach poster right over there, so if you see me looking this way, I'm comparing the plushie to the characters on the poster. And right off the bat, I can see he's missing um, an earring right here. Some of his face paint is a little bit different. He has some face paint coming out to the sides here. Um, they might have changed that just because of the cheeks. The shoulder pads are gone. Same thing with the, the spiked little wrist bands that he's got going on. Overall, it's pretty accurate. Um, it is missing just a few things, like I mentioned, the earrings, the shoulder pads, the, the fangs too, he's missing the fangs. But overall, he's pretty accurate, I'm not gonna lie. I will say, I do not like the printed on bow tie that this one has when compared to other Freddy's. And they really couldn't decide whether they wanted the eyes to pop out or not, so they're kind of just popping out slightly, but they're also not sewn in. So again, I don't know a whole lot about these things, but I'm covering them anyways, because again, $65 out of my pocket. So now we move on to Montgomery the Alligator. And this guy, I will say, when I first saw him, I was like, bruh, what the heck is that head? But now he's kind of starting to grow on me, as terrible as that sounds. He's got a nice little tail at the back. He is missing a few key things as well, like the shoulder pads and the wristbands. The mohawk is also kind of a... Uh, wimpy, I guess. I don't really know how else to describe it. But again, overall, it's accurate, I guess. You Like, you can tell it's Montgomery the alligator. Yeah, I wish they did the glasses a bit differently. It's kind of weird how they're printed on like that. They're just flat. They don't stick out like all the other eyes, but I guess it makes sense because you really wouldn't want the glasses sticking out. Also, the lightning bolt that goes on his snout, not his head. But again, overall, pretty decent plushie. Poor Roxanne. They can never make her right, can they? The action figure right there is all right, okay? Um, but for some reason, they just don't like to do her face paint, and I feel like that's my main problem with it. Also, like, what is this? This is a lazy attempt at the green hair that she has coming down. The body and head color is different. I don't know why it looks like that. Um, then again, that actually is pretty accurate to what it looks like in real life. I really don't like how they're separate colors. The limbs and the body and the head. The body and the head are the same color. Body and the head. The body and the head. <laughs> Sorry, guys. And the hair is just like... What? What? What is this? Did you forget to, like, fill it in or something? What is this? Like, it is not at all that flat or that straight <laughs> that straightforward um, a as a character, as she looks like on the poster and hopefully in the game. Again, I'm gonna keep saying it, everything else is kind of spot on. It's just little things that you see and it's like, ugh, this material does not feel good at all when compared to the other material. Again, I'm not a plushy guy, but I can definitely tell that this material is not the best. And speaking of material on the legs that don't feel right, I bring you Glamrock Chica. 
I don't know what it is, and this just looks weird. I'm stroking her thigh, but like, it just, it feels weird. You know, I don't know why they put it on the legs only. Um, they do have more details, especially on Chica, but like, why? Also, her head is very circular, <laughs> but at the same time, it, like, it goes really far back as well, so it just looks odd. The hair at the top, I can see what they tried to go for. They even have a bow tie, which I really love, but everything else, it's just like, what what happened here? Especially with this plushie. Again, everything else, pretty spot on. I'm not making this video just to crap on the plushies, because I feel like in certain areas, they do, you know, they do look pretty alright. So yeah, that's, that's Chica, and now we get to move on to... Uh, my favorite plushie of the bunch. That's right, it's Vanny. Okay, what actually happened here? Like, what? Okay, I, I, okay. <laughs> Let's talk about the good things. I appreciate the bow tie, though it is a ribbon, technically. The detail on the different stitching patterns of, of this plushie, they're pretty good. You know, like, on the leg, on the body, on the head. It's alright, even on the ear, it's different. Uh, but then you look at everything else and you realize, wow, I don't want to buy this for however much it, I think it was like 12, 13 bucks. It's like, what happened to the eyes? Why does she look so worried? And why is her snout doing this? It makes her look really sad. Or high. And the red eyes do not help. Also, the head shape. What? I don't know. Again, overall, I, don't, I really don't think they're that bad. Definitely not the worst wave of plushies we've had so far, but definitely not the best. Am I upset that I spent $65 on these things? A little. Um, do they make for good background decorations and for crapping on? Yes. Again, I know I'm late to covering these things, but I literally just saw them the other day at my, at my mall, so I was like, you know what? Screw it. <laughs> I've got money. I might as well spend it. And so that does mean bringing back the shelf, because Honestly, I want to have a cool background. It's just there's not a ho there's not a whole lot of room on my background to put things. So I, I moved the chair up a bit further this way. Foxy's still there. Don't worry. I know a lot of people are going to be scared that he's going to go. He's not. Same thing with Freddy chair, the Freddy blanket. It's still there. I would not <laughs> I would not get rid of it. Um, but yeah, I just moved it up a bit so we can have more things on display, like like the sub gun. Subscribe. I got all the books. Vanny figure, figures up here, um, you can see some of the mystery minis, and these, these ones are there, don't worry, um, and then the plushies are also gonna be up here. A lot of good merchandise for FNAF is coming out right now, the FNAF AR merch just got released a couple days ago, Funko's new board game is out, and apparently McFarlane Wave 6, um, is out as well, so hopefully I can get my hands on those things soon. But yeah, that's it for today, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all on the flip side, goodbye. Gregory, be still. I think she's found us.